What if you were told that a simple mistake, a mere 40 kilometers per hour miscalculation, led to one of the most bizarre moments in the history of space exploration? Well, if you didn't know, Apollo 12 seemed to disappear, only to reappear decades later leaving NASA engineers scratching their heads. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where you are going to discover mind-blowing videos. So what are you waiting for? Let's find out the truth about the mysterious 30-year journey of Apollo 12. This mystery left even the brightest minds at NASA bewildered. It's time to unfold the hidden truth. Imagine a spacecraft seemingly vanishing into thin air, only to re-emerge years later as if by magic. Well, the questions are still lingering regarding the whereabouts of the Apollo 12 spacecraft during its prolonged absence from public knowledge and the enigmatic journey it undertook during those 30 long years. So, astronomers found what they thought was an asteroid in an eccentric orbit around the Earth in September 2002. However, this was a surprise discovery since, as far as they knew, the Moon was the only natural object circling the Earth. With this in mind, and knowing that this bizarre object could not be an asteroid, despite its appearance, astronomers concluded that it had to be something created by humans. This legendary rocket and its incredible tail took an unexpected turn as it went on an extraordinary journey. It was soon figured out that it was the Saturn V third stage, which successfully propelled the Apollo 12 astronauts to the moon's awe-inspiring surface after being launched into the great expanse of space. So back then, Apollo 12 was launched on November 14, 1969. Despite being struck by lightning twice during the first minute of flight, it went on to perform the second successful human landing on the moon. And if you are also wondering what exactly happened to this rocket and how it ended up there, buckle up to ride with us into space. For a staggering three decades, this resilient artifact navigated the vastness of space, silently traversing the uncharted depths beyond our atmosphere. Throughout this time, the Saturn V third stage withstood the harsh casualties of the cosmic environment, retaining traces of its historical significance while venturing into the unknown. Before we discuss the voyage, we must first discuss the launch. So the Saturn V rocket had three stages, and during the launch, the first stage fired for nearly two and a half minutes, delivering astronauts to an altitude of 61 kilometers. Then comes the second stage, which fires for around six minutes, propelling both them higher and faster in space. It was then up to the third and final stage to perform a brief burn and place the spaceship into orbit. Once in a stable orbit, the third stage would be fired up again to complete the translunar injection burn and put the rocket and crew on a trajectory to intersect the moon. And after the Apollo crew was safely on their journey to the moon, the third stage separated and NASA attempted to eliminate it. Previously, NASA wanted to deploy it in orbit around the Sun, where it would remain for thousands of years and would not interfere with any future missions. However, things didn't go as per their plan for Apollo 12. To remove Apollo 12's third stage, NASA had sent it on a route to meet the Moon, but the first trajectory sent it to the wrong or less optimal side of the Moon. As a result, the third stage required one more maneuver to adjust its trajectory to perform this maneuver. The third stage employed its auxiliary propulsion systems, which consisted of two sets of thrusters at the bottom that enabled yaw, pitch, and roll control during flight. Despite the fact that it had to shift its location by thousands of kilometers, this used very little energy because changing its trajectory so early in the mission would have a significant impact after it reached the moon. However, this third stage was traveling at roughly 20,000 kilometers an hour at the moment of separation. It just needed to slow down by roughly 140 kilometers an hour to change its course, and this would cause its approach to the moon to be delayed, causing it to arrive on the other side. NASA accomplished the maneuver, although it did not proceed as planned. Before we see what happens next, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So basically, the instrument unit positioned above the third stage controlled the whole Saturn V rocket. This was equipped with its own internal guidance device, which was used to plot the rocket's trajectory. It also carried two C-band transponders that sent signals back to Earth, providing NASA with better trajectory data. 
once the rocket was safely in orbit, NASA could compare the data to the rocket's own data to determine if the planned flight route was being followed, and they may send a command up to the rocket to fix any errors. What NASA didn't realize was that the tracking system was slightly inaccurate, leading them to assume that the rocket was moving quicker than it actually was. And this is where things get more complex. In order to achieve the desired velocity, NASA ended up slowing it down too much and overcorrecting by only 40 kilometers an hour. This may not seem like much, but it was enough to cause the spacecraft to miss the moon by thousands of kilometers. Instead of being launched into a solar orbit, the third stage was pushed into a very elliptical orbit, dancing around and leaving the researchers flabbergasted. The gravity of the Earth and Moon repeatedly stretched and dragged the orbit in different directions throughout the following 15 months. In fact, it was stretched all the way to Lagrange Point 1, which is the point between the Earth and the Sun where the gravitational pulls of bodies cancel. But then again, it was only a matter of time until the third stage caught up. This actually took place in 1986, but it was not close enough to the L1 point to be drawn into Earth's orbit. The third stage continued to race around the Sun for another 16 years before succumbing to the inevitable. From its historic launch in 1969 to its unexpected re-emergence on Earth three decades later, this legendary mission's path was a piece of evidence to NASA that not everything they do is always to the point. The third stage attained its apoapsis in 2002, just before the Earth appeared in the picture. This time, the third stage passed beyond Earth's L1 point, and the Earth suddenly had a greater attraction to the object than the Sun for the first time in 32 years. Over the course of just two months, Earth drew the third stage into a very elliptical orbit around it, similar to the one it had before. However, it is also important to note that scientists had no clue what this object was at the time. Astronomers conducted spectrograph measurements to identify the object's composition in order to establish its identification. Every substance reflects light in somewhat different ways, and the amount of light reflected varies depending on the wavelength. After the astronomers performed light measurements of the third stage at many various wavelengths to identify the substance of this object, it resulted in a spectroscopic graph. Scientists then enthusiastically studied the graph and looked for patterns and similarities. They carefully compared it to graphs of different materials to find a match. It was like solving a puzzle, and as they kept searching, they started to find some similarities between the graph and a few known materials. This discovery brought them closer to understanding the true nature of the mysterious object and the incredible journey of Apollo 12. It turned out to be a spectroscopic graph of white titanium oxide paint, the same type that was used on the Saturn V. Astronomers were able to track the object's history back to 1971 when it exited Earth's orbit. With this knowledge, astronomers certainly claim that this was the long-lost third stage of Apollo 12. Astronomers continued to watch the orbit closely, and after only a year, it was ejected into an orbit around the Sun once more. Armed with their calculators and boundless curiosity, astronomers have foreseen its triumphant return to our beloved planet in the mid-40s. Yet, for now, it continues to race through the vastness of space, unfettered and free. But rest assured, the unwavering laws of physics stand as guardians, ensuring that this valiant traveler will ultimately find its way back to Earth. So, what are the next cosmic secrets to discuss? Let us know in the comment section. That's a wrap for today. Hopefully, you will enjoy the video. If yes, then do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon for the latest notifications. See you next time.